Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 2. Basically right now we have the Kindle Paperwhite 2 plugged into our PC via the cable that came with it. And on our e-reader it says USB drive mode, has a little picture of a USB drive, and we know that we're good to go. You, you can verify that it's plugged in effectively when you see a little message saying new device being recognized and then you'll see a Kindle directory here. It may not be a drive I, it could be another drive, but you should see something like this. So in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use Dropbox, Windows Explorer, and another a lot of other kind of cool features. So we look at Calibre here, it's a free download in this YouTube video and on our website we'll include a link to it so you know where to find it. Uh, it could do a lot of kind of cool things. Uh, if we look at say a sample of an ebook here, you notice it's an EPUB format. Now EPUB is probably that in PDF is the most accessible type of book that you'll find online. Now because this is uh, not a paid book with digital rights management we can convert this book from EPUB to a Kindle friendly format. So before I show you how to copy a book to your reader let's quickly show you how to convert books. So we want to convert this book to say a Moby book. I'm going to click OK. You can see jobs, it's converting it. Some books convert fairly fast, some books need a few minutes or so. But while that's converting, let me show you a kind of a cool thing that you can do by editing the metadata. Often when you download books from the internet, it may not have the right cover art, or you can see that in parentheses is the book series name. Uh, if you're stickler for the way that your ebooks look on your e-reader, you can do things in caliber like, say, just take the series name, delete that. So the title will just be House of Hades. And you can put the series name here. Now you notice that there's no comments or anything like that. What we can do is attempt to download the metadata. Uh, once you actually have the book name and the author name there, you can click download metadata. It's, it'll ping various services, uh, Google, Amazon, etc. And so we'll just click on this. You can see here that it has different cover art. So we'll just select this one. Now you notice it has comments here now publisher dates, ISBN ratings, and things like that. And you notice that the title actually changed. So this is back here. But you could always delete that if you want. But you have to make sure that this is green. You can just hit here and click OK. Now it's saving a bit of the settings. Once you got the book the way that you want, in the formats that you want, you can just right click and click send a device and send a device's main memory. Now this option will appear when your Kindle's plugged in and you see a picture of a Kindle here. So I'm just gonna send it over. And you can see the job here going. All right, it's been copied over and you see there's a check mark next to the book, the cover art and everything like that. So we're, we're pretty well good to go. Uh, one of the cool things about Calibre is it'll allow you to actually delete things. So say I don't want this Oxford Dictionary of English here. I could simply just delete it right off my device. Uh, same with anything else I kind of want to do. So if I don't want the world set free by H.G. Wells, I can just click remove books, remove selected book. And this is kind of a cool way that you can actually manage the content on your e-reader. Both the content that you actually purchased from Amazon, samples, and then books that you have actually loaded using Calibre. Looking at our directory structure here, this is the Kindle plugged into our PC. Click Documents. So these are ebooks that we've loaded in ourselves, have purchased from Amazon and etc. So this is the main documents directory. You can see there's really a, not a lot to the directory structure on a Kindle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a book here and it's on my desktop but it could be in various directories on your computer and I'm just gonna click paste. 
So this sample book is now on my e-reader, which is again in Mobi format. So this is a way that you could just selectively copy and paste things on here. And then on your Kindle, under your library, you can actually add this book or any other book that you add to any collection that you want. So you can make a romance collection, um, a thriller uh, collection, and just put all of these different books that you're loading in yourselves into your various collections. And that will make organizing your e-reader a little bit more effective. Uh, finally here we have Dropbox. It's a free account. I think you get a few gigs uh, for free. And what you can do is upload ebooks into your Dropbox account. And it's simple. You just click upload, choose files, and I'll uh, add this book here, the Tenth Order. Another sample book. And you can see that it's here. It's in Mobi format. Now, the Kindle has a web browser. Uh, when you have your Kindle in your hands, in the top right hand corner, if you click it, there's a drop down menu. One says experimental browser. If you open it up, it's an internet browser, and you could just go to Dropbox and then log into your Dropbox account and then select any of the Mobi books that you may have in there. Once you do that, you can click on it and it'll click download. So it's all touch screen, so you can just click it, and then you'll have a download option, and then the book will be downloaded automatically to your Kindle, and then you can start reading it. So this is kind of a cool way where maybe if you're at work and you find a few books that you want to read on your Kindle later, you can just log into your Dropbox account at work, and then when you're home, you can just log into a beer your Kindle. So this has been just three quick ways to load eBooks on your Amazon Kindle e-reader. Any questions or concerns, uh, you can drop a comment here on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goody reader and watch any of our hundreds and hundreds of other ebook reading and tutorial videos we hope you've enjoyed it for goodyreader.com and a video tutorial on how to load ebooks on amazon kindle paperwhite 2 my name is michael and everybody take care